Welcome. Damn. Hello. And we are live. We are man. live. Hello, everybody. Right, awesome. Hi. Let's see if it comes up live and see if some questions pop up. Yes. All right. I did actually bring my tablet as well. So hey, we're live. Look at that. Neat. Yay. We're live? Yeah. 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 So, so right. I did actually bring my tablet. Turn the microphone down. The volume down. Is no. this like space balls where we can yeah, see yeah. what happens next in the screen? You, you can see your questions, yeah. All righty. Should everyone just be cross-eyed at this point? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, everyone, <laughs> everyone's going to give us a like. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hey. There, there's like. John. I'm David. Uh, today we have Will. Hi! And I'm Mark. Extremely loud. And Mark is going to make terrible puns just like last week. And I'm going to be behind the camera. I'll be uh, giving, you know, if you guys uh, put any uh, comments in there, I'll be able to, you know, say them and everything. Oh, so I don't need this camera? No, you don't need uh, it. It's not going to distract me? I like it. And I like Stop it. it. Stop it. No, otherwise you're just looking at the whole time. So, it's welcome everybody in today's Giga Ramble, episode number, what is this, three? Already? Uh, yeah, it was, yeah, it's yeah. only from last week there, John. That's right, two hasn't, last week. It hasn't been not that long. That's true. Was last oh week, the episode, you made John cry. <sighs> I made John quit in episode one. Yeah. <laughs> really? I made yes. John cast me after episode two. I'm I mean, right here. That should have been the entire cast Off for Star camera. Wars episode one. Is that why we keep hiring people? I bullied John Galvin so much last week, he didn't even show up this week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. John. So, so I don't, yeah, as always. I actually didn't write down anything. This is all oh, helpful. Zone. As always, this oh, is 100% on scripted, so that's yeah. always nice. Hey, What's I usually script? write something. Down. John has a script, though. Yeah. Look. That John or that, the John that, that you bolted out That's my script. That's 100% <laughs> blank. So, uh, yeah, so whenever anyone pops on, any questions you want to do, either I will we'll do it live. And do it so, live. The no, first yeah. thing we'll talk about is our projects that we're doing so that people can get an idea of the kind of stuff that we're yeah. Employees are doing here. So, David, we'll start with you. Yeah, the, producer, the producer's usually silent behind the camera going, Can you yeah. read lips? Because I can do that. Read your lips, baby. Yeah. All right, yeah, so let's do some projects. <laughs> force, force the will. No. Uh, so, we'll start. We're all, uh, we have our project board. You probably saw it on the, the John's newscast yesterday. We didn't do any weather, which was very odd. Uh, uh, yeah. Cloudy with a chance of wog. Uh, so Good John job. went through yesterday, we had a list, uh, so me, Mark and Will are going to quickly go through what we're doing, although my project has actually changed since yesterday because I change it every week. So Mark, what are you working on this week? So I am doing my ever-expanding Iron Jaws army, which I have a box of it right here. Uh, is, no, is that all three no, of our projects? No, yeah, it's, 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 it's the same go. It's Hold on, is, is that all three of our... Is yeah. it? Yeah. It's all three of our projects. Oh. I was going to joke about playtesting <laughs> 8th edition, 40k, just so people would be like, wait. But, but maybe all the Iron yeah. Jaws are different. So Age of Sigmar yeah. is pretty popular at Gigabytes right now. So Let me go get a different box then. So go work on a different project. Yeah. So what are you working on? Uh, so right now I have uh, the campaign going on for Age of Sigmar, and we basically bumped it up to 1,000 points. So I've thrown in what I aptly call the Cabbage Dragon. Hey, Which is the uh, Maw Crusher, but it looks like actually just a head of cabbage. Good afternoon, uh, Gigabytes. With an orc on top. Uh, Why didn't we switch boxes? But the, the thing is beautiful. Uh, so many telemarketers. You're going to have this one. Give me All that right, one. Yeah. This is the cabbage dragon. Cabbage right here. dragon. As you can see, just a giant piece of cabbage with an orc on it. Uh, but. You're ruining that model. No, no. Yeah, it's perfect. We're going to make that name stick. Please and don't. Uh, I, I usually run only the brutes, which are the biggest, baddest orcs there are. Uh, unlike the ones on this box here, which carry drums and banners, which is a huge waste of weapon space. <laughs> <laughs> you can hit someone with the drum. Yeah, it's not as good as an axe. Oh, God. Chopper. Get, get them choppers. <laughs> I'll get you, not Space Marine. Oh, yeah. Right. So you're, you're doing all Iron Jaws? Yeah. So what drew nice. you guys to do Iron Jaws? Because all three of you yeah, have... Are, Will, Will is also doing Iron Jaws. Yeah, they're, yes. They're hopefully, the new hopefully Will's, are started. your Iron Jaws different to Mark's Iron Jaws? Do you uh, have a Cabbage Dragon? He I do not own a Cabbage Dragon. Uh, 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 Jeremy asks, can my Venom Lord beat the Cabbage Dragon? Uh, depends. Does your Venom Lord get the charge? Yeah, who gets and, the charge? <laughs> and honestly... Uh, probably not. How <laughs> how choppy is he? So, the Cabbage Dragon is one of the most expensive models to field in a uh, point game. And to buy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is uh, 520 points. So in my 1,000 point games, it's half my army. Worth it? Yes, it is worth it. What? But it will get annihilated by things that cause mortal wounds and just focus fire. Do you ever see those balls that have like the raccoon tail on it? Yeah, you should yeah. just do one of them. You just stick an orc to the top of that and just let it go. <laughs> no, that would be your goblin army. <laughs> uh, so, so Ross right. says oh. death is coming, smiley face. Well, thanks, Ross. Way to put a downer on today. Yeah. I'm old. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> All right, demoted. <laughs> 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 well, it takes a center point. Keeps pressing. Yeah. Possibly yeah. probably. 
I'm back. All right, so Will, you're working on Iron Jaws too. I am also working on Iron Jaws great, too. Great variation here at Geek Advice. Yes. He's working on the so, weaker ones. <laughs> so Mark actually knows how to play this game. Yeah. Whereas I do not. So I'm trying to figure out what dice do. Uh, so they usually roll the number between one and six, yeah. and depending what you roll, it has a stat. Oh man, I really screwed that up then. Yeah. yeah. Keep yeah. getting seven. You should probably not land on the edge. Yeah, D20s. You shouldn't use those spin down counters. But they're so pretty. Yeah. But do you even have any like Age of Sigmar stuff? Because you had the you had old fancy ones. A whole ones. bunch of this stuff. Yeah. Well, you, did, you got a spider yeah. before. <laughs> the, 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 the Arachnid. I, I found a spider bust up in the in the office once. So, no, know, it's, I, I took mine home. I don't know how well Mr. Spider's doing. Oh. Yeah, I got a bunch of this for Christmas last year. Don't you remember? No, don't no. you? I don't remember last week. <laughs> David, what's in that coffee? <laughs> Irish man drinking an Irish yeah. coffee. I would assume. Say not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's, that's good, squishy. What's yeah. the script? <laughs> Yeah, there is no script. No. No. Alright, well, since Will doesn't know what he's doing, I'm going to explain what I'm doing. Which is... Conversion. Not Iron Jaws, actually, strange yeah. enough. So, your, your newscast, John, was actually wrong yesterday. Because while I am working on Age of Sigmar, not me, because I'm lazy. Uh, so, I'm playing around with this. My goal is to build some Shadow Wars uh, orcs. Because I love, I love me some Daka Daka, and in the new Shadow Wars and the new A edition, it's, it's looking pretty cool. But... I really love these brute models, so I'm going to mix these brute models with some orc knob models and make them all crunky and super cool and 40k-ish, but while still looking like giant walking crabs. Hmm. So that's going to be my project for this month. Nice. Is literally figure out how to combine two. I'm really excited as well because I'm trying to think if I'm going to get the mega boss. So if, if you've seen the uh, the the orc mega boss and then mix it with Gasbo Tracker mm, and just have this gigantic thing thing. I like it. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Jeremy uh, asks, uh, General's Handbook has the points of all AOS match play armies? They do. Yeah. yeah. Well, they have all the points. They basically have up to a point, and then a couple of newer books, the match points yeah. are that. So the Stormcast reprint, the Disciples of Zinch, and the Caradrons are in their own books. Mm. And then General Handbook 2 comes out probably in July, more than likely, because I yeah. imagine there's going to be a... Yeah. At least a month and a half of eight edition releases come June, so I am yeah. expecting an update to the four pages of rules. Mainly, be <laughs> no, mainly because maybe a fifth page. Why? No. Why would you want that? No, I'm expecting. I didn't say I'm demanding. Uh, you wouldn't want that. But uh, I'm expecting it because in the dwarf uh, Caradon Overlords book, they do not have the four pages printed. Yeah, but you don't need it. I mean, at this point, you can buy it. You can, you can get the Age Sigma rules free on the website. I know they're in every book. Ex You're going to buy the they were in every. You're book. going to buy the general handbook anyway. So, I mean, this is useful for me. No, as Ross says the, a, the Age of Sigmar app does have it all, but it's yeah. so horrible for making armor lists. And armor lists are, making, are so easy to make anyway. Yeah. Like the the, the well-rounded points make it really easy. easy. <laughs> hey, apparently I said that. I didn't even write it. Thank you, John. You, you like Gigabyte. The, the man, Giga said it. The man behind the mask. The robots. Oh, my God. But yeah. yeah no, do not look behind the curtain. I, I, do, it, I do expect to see a few changes to the four pages. Yeah, I can mean, maybe clean up one or two things and just a few clarifications, yeah. but man, the four pages is one of the best things they ever did, and everybody hated it at first. Yeah. But when you actually play the game and you have to like build this and you see how stuff works, like the first time I threw down my vanguards, I was just like, hey, I'm here, and now I'm all the way over here, and I'm going to charge you, and I'm not going to be in combat anymore, and it's just, it's, it's super Well, cool. I mean, if you think about it, the first page is all about setup. Once you know that, it's really three pages of rules. Yeah. So yeah. it's even easier to just bring that down to to a point where everyone can play it simply. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's great. And that's and that's what 40K is going to be in the new edition, too, because that's... Hey, John Galvin! John, John Galvin. Galvin! Well, well, yeah. well. Yeah, the life the life peak continues. Uh, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, Age of Sigmar. I can't tell if Corey is Age of Sigmar like he doesn't like it, or or he wants to tell me a secret about it. Age of Sigmar is great. Don't, don't diss it. Uh, yeah. So, I, you guys also read that new 40K stuff this week? Uh, yeah, oh. I, I've been, I've been uh, looking at each spoiler. Sure. Oh. Some more intently than others. The well, you're not allowed to be on camera yeah. again if you haven't read all the everything yeah. that needs to be known in the industry this week. Yeah. This week, in the industry. No, in that's industry. a good one. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> no. <laughs> this week, in the industry. Gee, David, what happened this Mo week? Models yeah. have been industry. released. Models have been Rules released. Rules have been updated. Uh, what? God. Yeah, so they, were, they, they showed the data slates for what 40K is going to look like, data yep. sheets. So. PowerPoints. Oh my goodness. Uh, PowerPoints for narrative play, I think that yeah. is. And then they haven't done the points. Points are today, so uh, keep an eye on Warhammer Community. Got my first pun. So is each battle a PowerPoint presentation? 
<laughs> but yeah, no, they did. They did. They showed off a data slate of Thousand Suns, and those guys look terrifying. You're just going to see Thousand Suns with as many flamers as they can because all their flamers are minus two mm. armor. Yeah, yeah, they still as do. Opposed well. to just eat normal flamers. I do so like how they no, they don't auto oh, so kill for Will. Will is complete new yeah. edition, but is really looking forward to learning. Yeah. Absolutely, flamers in the new edition. If you're within eight inches, their D6 automatic hits are straight four. Yeah. Oh my god. Right. Just, you just walk up and you're like, ha 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 ha. Yep. Well, the Zeech ones are minus two to your armor save. Yep. So it's. Zeech is all about ignoring the armor. But I'm glad they don't auto kill Marines with their bolters anymore. Like, the, they ignore armor three. It's now, what, minus it's minus two. two? Yeah. But that still it's, isn't an auto death to a Marine. Oh, the new, the new article, uh, Jeremy says the new article for points matched, he uh, linked it in the 40k giga group. Yeah. So yeah. If you're not part of the 40k gig group and you're interested in 40k, join that group. There it's the happiest are. place on earth. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually, it's actually, I've, I've been taking the, just posting chicken little pictures everywhere I can every time there's a new release because literally you, you see people who are excited. Oh, and you yeah. see this, oh god, everything is terrible. It's <laughs> new and it's scary. Yeah. I mean, with all the warp storms, maybe this guy is following. This <laughs> probably is something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then they have new weapon. They, they brought a new weapon characteristics and new vehicle stuff. So I mean, it's just yeah, cool. Now, uh, one of the descriptions they gave with the, the with the Gorkonaut and how it would take six hundred glass guns <laughs> yeah. to take it down. Yeah, like, so, yeah. Well, the, the ongoing thing is people are whining and complaining about how a las gun can kill a land raider. Yeah, now, but it really can't. Like, uh, Jeremy says twin link weapons now shoot twice the number of shots. Uh, so twin link flamers are two d six auto hits. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, going back to that, when I first started 40K, I was like, oh man, there's two weapons side by side. It's like, how many sh- Oh. Okay. Well, that's great. I'm excited now to bring out my Spartan tank. Spartan tank. Yeah. Because it's got dual quad las cannons. Twin dual link quad las cannons. Quad. Yeah. HB8. So it's a twin link quad, it's a twin link quad las cannon. Or something uh -huh. like a quad las cannon. It's two twin link las cannons side by side. So it's going to be eight shots of las cannon. Neat. Turn. Last cannon forever. And then it can fit like 25 models or something stupid like that. <laughs> That's gonna be pretty great. So I can have like 15 Terminators and, and just be like, hey, look at all my two Terminators in my, my eight shot last cannon. Mm -hmm. Get wrecked. Will they allow Gulliman to finally step in something? I don't think so. But the new, oh yeah, that's the other new thing, is characters can't be picked out by shooting anymore. Yeah. They can only be targeted if they're the closest model. And otherwise, so otherwise you have to target another unit. So, Gulliman being, oh, as long as they have 10 or less wounds. Correct. So, they, Magnus the Red still stuck in that. <laughs> yeah, well, um, Magnus. Yeah. Uh, He's broken on either. Yeah. But yeah, it means Gulliman can actually safety walk across the board and not get shot. Unless they're snipers, because I did see rattling snipers yeah. can pick out, which means I assume that all snipers are precision shot can pick out. But the amount so. of sniper shots hopefully won't be to that point. I, think, I really think scout snipers never get we Yeah, about. but I assume that, you know, on, on a hit roll, you get to select the wound or something like that. I'll choose a six every time. <laughs> You're not in <seeing. laughs> You don't I, get I that. I have no idea what's happening. I've always dealt with John's, oh, I need a six to hit to kill you? Yeah, let me just do the fate dice. Fate dice thing. Yeah, but that's a good one. That's important. Yeah. Yeah. No, but yeah. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. yeah. Zinch does exist in both worlds. So yeah, no. Anyway, any questions? I see there's 13 people on right now. 13. How people? many of them are Jeremy? <laughs> oh, before yeah. I go any further, I have to give a shout out to my beautiful wife, who always looks so amazing in the morning because she warned me she killed me if I didn't. Ah. Uh, extra good this morning. And you're here. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, so we have 40k new releases. Since I said we were talking about. Yeah, that I grabbed. Today. I grabbed the selection. Let's start with Will because he was feeling all left out with his back knowledge from 40k. So I'm going to talk about another game I don't know anything about. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Sun Moon. Uh, shoot. Guardians Rising came out last weekend, and it's super cool. We totally prepped this before. Explain why it's super cool. Totally uh, it's more Sun Moon. Ah. Yes. So is it an eclipse? So when do we do Pokemon, Will? We do Pokemons on Sundays, provided by the wonderful Professor Lane. Why don't you tell the people, not me? We do Pokemon <laughs> on Sundays, provided by the wonderful pro Professor Lane. <laughs> Probably because you didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, I know they're on Sunday. <laughs> Pokemon's on Sunday. Yes. Yes. And as always, we're always buying all your bulk and pretty much everything, actually. Yes. So Even games we don't have. But we want your bulk. Give me your yes. bulk. Yes. Give me your bulk. <laughs> we'll buy it. <laughs> But yeah, is there anything else going on on the, the magical world of card gaming side of the store? 
I'm glad you asked. I have this nifty, nifty little shirt. How unexpected. <laughs> okay, so next weekend is game day. It's uh, been a month since Amiket come out, so we're going to celebrate it by giving you neat stuff. Anyone who shows up gets a participation promo. Anyone who top eights gets a top eight promo. Anyone who wins gets this really cool playmat of this dude getting, like, stabbed in the face by a god. Oh. Which is presumably a good thing. They, they seem really into it. Yeah. Common cat. I mean, uh... Yeah. What was it? Harvest Mate? That thing? I just, what? All the trials you murder the person oh, yeah, you yeah. spent your time with. They're, it's like the Hunger Games, but for yeah. getting into a less terrible version of the afterlife. Mm. That's Games Day is when? Game day is May 20th. May 20th. We're doing, we usually Basically. do one on Saturday and one on Sunday for the people who can't make it to Saturday. That should be pretty good. Yes. Yeah. So it's just four rounds of standard, and then you get stuff for showing up. To show up. Just show up. Ross asked a question. He did. <laughs> it goes well. Thank you. Hi, Ross. Mm. And it was not weird. It was loving. It was a little weird. Can it be oh, both? Uh, you know. Don't put, mutually put, put on the spot. Try to shoehorn it in. Mm. <laughs> She, she knows great. All right, what else we got? So, yes, that's the only event, only game safe, no, nothing else. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ah, yeah, it's the worst. Herman. All right, there's so always the weekly event. There's stuff, always the right? weekly event. There's always the weekly event. So we do magic yeah. every day that's not Monday. So Tuesday we do modern, Wednesday we do draft, Thursday we do legacy, and we also have force of will, which is like magic if magic was anime as heck. So, so would you say Monday would be a good day to come up and just try screwball this and just play around and get your friends together and come to the store? I would, David. I uh, really that would. would. Be a good day. Yeah. You should tell people that. Yeah. Stop looking at me. <laughs> so Monday's a good day to come and try whatever because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mondays. All uh, right. I was told to try yeah. whatever. Do you guys? So we got a few other things today. We got uh, we got some new Imperial Assault came in. Ooh. It released yesterday on Thursday as I was. Yeah. Mentioned to this week. Can you see yeah, that there? I posted on Wednesday. I also, but, uh, I also, yeah. I also so had new, fun for new characters, yeah. Jawa Scavengers, uh, Harrison, Harrison Dula. Dula, I guess is from Rebels? Yes. Rebels, yeah, see, I know things. And then BT1 and 00, <laughs> specialized yeah. in pain. Uh, so that's the new expansions for, um, yeah. uh, for Imperial Assault. So, Ooh, there'd be a yeah, uh, Eric oh. asks, how does the magic draft work? Oh. That's good. That is a good question. Hi, Eric. Thank you for your question. So the way it works is we do single, <laughs> yeah. we do single elimination. So if you lose, you're out. I'm very sorry. Uh, it's thirteen dollars to draft. Uh, first place gets twenty twenty six dollars credit. Second place gets thirteen dollars credit. So basically, if you get into the finals, you can go infinite. So we do whatever the latest set is. In this case, it would be a uh, triple Amonkhet. We do have older sets if people request it. So uh, like Modern Masters came out recently enough, and that's a pretty interesting draft format, so you can do that if we get eight people to sign up for it. But that has a different price. It does. It's thirty dollars to draft because it's a much more expensive set. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, we do eight man pods, and then we, you know, it's it's like a bracket, and you have to go down to the finals. Cool. And we will fire as many of those as we can on Wednesdays and Fridays. So bring your friends. Please bring your friends. Yeah, because they fire they fire when you hit eight people, right? So we often get calls. Hey, you guys about to fire a draft? And the kind of response is. As soon as we get eight. Yeah. Or you get people who ask, hey, how close are you to finding a draft? And it's like, well, we're one closer if you show up. <laughs> yeah. so, that's it. It's true. Yeah. So, like, literally, it's, drafting is really one of those community things. And the best, f it's, it's fun to draft with your friends. So, and we'll, we'll fire a draft any day of the week. So, you just get seven friends. And like on Monday when there's not a lot going on? There you go. Like yeah. Wow. There's not a lot going on. When you Bring seven, seven friends, friends, friends on Monday. And you can draft and just have fun. And you get to hang out and eat some tasty paninis and stuff. Yeah, or our wonderfully delicious peanut butter smoothie, which is, which is objectively the best thing on earth. Peanut butter jelly. So good. I don't know. So, so speaking of that, you uh -oh. see, the, you see that new uh, unicorn frappuccino thing the Starbucks I, spread out? I, I missed that. it. I wanted to try it. Well, so I'm just going to say we did it first. Oh, with the the with, Caligula. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've always wanted to try. Have you ever had a Caligula? I, I've been told about it in hush whispers. That it's was, not on the menu. We don't we don't advise it on the menu. Do we you even can order the, it? No Skittles. Correct me I'm if I'm wrong. I'm sure we got the Caligula is every fruit we have. No. It's every, it's every, every fruit syrup. syrup we have. Yeah, it's it's syrup. And a bag yeah. of Skittles. And a bag of Skittles. Isn't it like, like 20 milk. bucks or something? I, it's like... Eight. I know it was really... I no, no, the King was 20 bucks. No, well... Wasn't what? the unicorn thing the sour? The candy bars? Sour Patch Kids. Oh, that's the Mile High Club. I, thought, I was called. Wait, I was told let's it was go called through the these things so that people know what you're talking uh, about so they could order it special if they want to. Right, so the Caligula was a milk frappuccino. You could have it with or without coffee. Uh, it had three or four different syrups, so like raspberry, strawberry, honey fruit syrup, and then a bag of Skittles. 
<laughs> and, and, yeah, antivirus series. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it was it was a taste sensation. It was a sweeping sensation. the nation. We don't put it on the menu because it's bad for you, it's so bad. Mm. And then the Miles High Club was after a good friend Miles Ernst, who we miss and we haven't seen in a long time. Mm. Uh, was a large chocolate and caramel frappe that had a Twix, oh. a Snickers, oh, and a brownie wow. blended in it. That was that was that something. Sounds that was that, that was that was uh, that was tough to, to blend. Let me tell you. Was, Remember that one time we tried doing donut wraps? No, no, oh, no. the worst. Oh, well. Do what? Yeah, donut wraps. We, we, we brought in donuts, donuts one day. The worst was, was trying to do the uh, the cheddar chip ones and bacon. Oh, oh no, and it really didn't work. Uh, yeah, this is back when John, John William Ferris <laughs> worked here. Bless his heart. Uh, God bless John. They Farrow. ended up being wherever very, you are in the world. Probably wearing very cute shorts. He is probably wearing very. Uh, they came out cute. very bready. So if yeah. if you like bread. like a milkshake with bread in it. Bread, bread and milk. <laughs> if, 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 if you ever want to no, if you ever want to know what it's like to eat with a broken jaw, just <laughs> it's like so. I, I'm pretty <laughs> indiscriminate in the things I ate. Those those donut smoothies were absolutely yeah. repulsive. But yeah, tried tried the menu. Our menu was great. So I mean, I eat every day. We make really really yeah. good food. Uh, and it's all fresh to make. And sometimes we do weird concoctions like that, but mm. you know. And I usually end the one they experiment them on. <laughs> yeah. Jeremy asks if you can add Pocky to the snack lineup. That's I know you bring know. it in. What is Pocky? It's, it's, uh, it's the like the Japanese stick cracker, stick cracker, chocolate, chocolate cookie stick dipped stick. in chocolate. Uh, it's a Japanese thing. No. Yeah, I like it. No, I'm, I'm sorry, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> David, sorry. David's very sorry. Uh, no. Anyway, next thing. <laughs> so this came out last week. Uh, this is the Adventures in Middle Earth, the Lore Ooh. Master's Guide, so it's an expansion for uh, uh, 5e. So basically, Cubicle 7 makes uh, an alternate. You can play in the Middle Earth world, and I think it uses the D&D rules. And uh, very, very good book, very popular. Uh, the guy who runs his name is, or one of the writers is uh, Paul Butler. And he, he actually just bought his store. He owns a store in Maryland, and it's really cool. He's in the city here this weekend for CMON Expo. So I'll probably say hello to him tomorrow. So shout out to you and Travis and, and Derek because I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is cool looking. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, you get to play as so Proud No, 5e, that's D&D? Yeah, I believe it uses some of the D&D mo- rules, but it's not it's not a Wizards product. It's Cubicle 7, so it's like a... Just know, different you know, enough. Yeah, not an official scenario book, I guess, or alternate scenario. <laughs> just, <laughs> just different enough. There you go, yeah. So I... Avengers Middle Earth is D&D 5e well. conversion for the One Ring RPG. Thanks, Ross. Which Ross runs? Ross does run that game, I think, too. Thanks, Ross. Wait, what day so, is that on Ross? Is uh, it Wednesdays? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure Ross does it on... No, no, no. Ross, he does it on thing. Sundays, I think. Um, yeah, your screen died. <gasps> uh, <laughs> no! Are we, are we no longer live? No, no, I'm no, not, no we're live. Are we off camera? Hey, he's looking for players. So, mm. get with Ross, I assume, on meetup.com uh, slash AG Guild. Uh, which, if you roleplay, that's actually where we direct all our roleplay players is to meetup.com dash AG Guild. And you can get, that's where you can get involved with uh, uh, Adventures League. Yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> uh, and pretty much every roleplay game that there is in the store. And we have all of them. Yeah, yeah. we do. We have a lot. Right is there a way we can Star pan the camera Wars. over there? Yep, we can. Ooh. Fabulous. It's panning. Look Ooh, at all those role-playing yeah, games. Role playing games. There's all of them. Yeah, that's the most popular ones. Shadowrun, Star Wars, and, and D&D, so it's yeah. kind of cool. Call of Cthulhu has been yeah. one of the funnest ones I've ever played that. Yeah, oh, yeah, the Call of Cthulhu one, actually. It's getting a lot. We sell a lot of that in a week, so. Mm-hmm. I need to role-play more. You should role-play more. I, I, I find some that... Of, some of them, I mean, Andrea and, and Ada do a uh, thing on Fridays. Right? Yeah, the they ladies' D&D night. Yeah. That's always fun. So. Nice. They keep killing goblins. Yeah. Oh, monsters. She has a shirt the world's okay. okay. Yeah, the world's okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what else do we have for new releases this week? I got some. These are not, strictly, these are not new, but they are new to the store because we haven't had them in before. Because for some reason, we got the Convergence and the Troll Bloods army boxes in before we got the Kador and Legion one. Can I hold uh, the Kador one? It'll make me feel better. If you want. Yes, please. So these are, God, I can't remember. I think it's 160 for the Kador and 175 for Legion, but they're full 50 point armies for uh, War Machine and Hordes. Limited one, one printing, so they don't make these more than once. They're just once they're gone, they're gone. But they save you like I don't know, like two hundred dollars or something in a box. Yeah. You know, it's a fully functional army. Ah, so it's a fully functional army. You can get this, and you don't have to get anything else. But you should. You, get you should. You absolutely should. <laughs> should always, should always get more stuff. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think we have one left of each. 
which is why it's only one that's been picked. So <laughs> grab those because they don't last. They, they disappear pretty really quickly. No, they don't. The one true faction. Yeah. So uh, yeah, anything else what else we got going on? We got th stuff and things. Yeah. We have events coming up, I think. What are events do we have? How is the uh, Age of Sigmar campaign going? It's going real well. We finally delved into the center of the city. Right, John? Yep. Yep. So people are finally fighting for that thing that landed in the center of the city, which we still don't know what it is. <laughs> Mystery. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone just asked, is the box that will case now considered damaged, and can I get it for a discount? <laughs> just because we consider will damaged doesn't mean the box is oh. like contact. Oh. I heard inside. But will is at the discount price. Uh, <laughs> will is the discount price, ladies. Uh, got wait. Uh, Doesn't look half bad when he actually shaves, brushes his hair, takes a shower, dresses nicely. Yep. Let's see though. Uh, but I as love far my as job. campaign goes, we are actually <laughs> finally fighting for that fighters. thing in the center of the city. And we have how much more time in the campaign, John? Uh, we're on week. Uh, we're on round two. We have two more rounds after this. Yeah. So we have basically a month left of the campaign. Uh, we're going to be duking it out for control of the city. And uh, yeah, we have a. Actually, I have a myriad of prizes you can win Aww. from best general to most points. My, my, so. old, my old roommate from college, Duncan, just said hello. Oh, wow. Hi, Duncan. I called him Dunky. Horse. Because I was horse and he's Duncan. Oh. Uh, I didn't really. But it's, it's funny. It's cute. <laughs> it's, <laughs> cute. <laughs> it's, it's adorable, David. That's why you know. Yeah. Yeah, so the campaign is cool. I think. Yeah. Are we over 30 people again now? Are we uh, at 32? God, so much Yeah, that's yeah, right. I'm not quite sure. It's yeah. a lot of Sigmar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. But it's great. Uh, a lot of times you can just come in on Sunday, Monday. Uh, a lot of people will be waiting to get games. You just fight over territories, and once you're out of aggressive or neutral moves, you just fight to fight. Uh, get better at the game. Honestly, practice for a game as simple as Age of Sigmar still helps a lot. You get to know what your opponent's army does. You get to uh, basically learn the limitations of yours and the dangers of a double turn for your opponent. Uh, that initiative roll is very deadly, and I learned yesterday that John can obliterate me in basically uh, five minutes. <laughs> John, you're a monster. It's very professional, like a speech. Thank you. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. You have such a good speaking voice. Hey, Bob Power says the feed's all weird. Feed's weird? That's what he says. Don't oh, maybe it's just for you, Bob. Looks fine for me. Yeah. Yeah, we got a couple of tablets here going okay. Yeah. I haven't seen War Machine players much. Uh, they're around. I mean, I've seen games. Yeah, we had, uh, we, had we had a good few last night. Yeah, we had uh, Pigs versus no, a Circle versus uh, Kador yesterday. Uh, yeah, we just got we what just got the, the name of that narrative we just got the Crosswords of Courage Cor season four. Uh, that just came in, so we're probably running that event now. Uh, Shanghai, David or Andrew to to jump in on that. So, what yeah. are some other games that are growing? Yeah, well, <laughs> lots. <laughs> We had the expansion yeah. for Destiny come out. Well, we were asked. We were asked to talk more about games that weren't 40k or Age of Sigmar because yeah. we were showing our bias. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's where they brought me on. So, Star Wars yeah. Destiny came Congrats. out with its next Ouch. expansion, Spirit of Rebellion. And, uh. It's like a news commentary. It's yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> I just want you sitting over there and then uh, we just pan the camera to you. like, And then we go to Mark in the newsroom. It's going We could rain. do that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Mark in a, in a suit, in a cowboy hat, a zoot suit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, mm. Well, I mean, the Salvation Army is somewhere around here. It's probably fine. Uh, but, uh, right, see, here's the news. In the expansion, yeah. That's yeah. the greatest yeah. yeah. crumble. Uh, Palpatine came out, and a lot of times you were running uh, two to maybe even four characters on your side of the board. <laughs> but with Palpatine, at two dice, you run one. One character. It's and apparently, as well. he is still wrecking face. 1v2, 3, 4, he'll still just he'll just kill everything. It's ridiculous how powerful Palpatine is. Well, he dissolved uh, the Senate. Yeah. He's Sadly, we're sold out. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Fancy Fight. 24th Actually, is when we're getting more? 25th is the one I'm hearing for the waves, but I, I don't... Fingers you know, crossed. These companies, they don't... They make me look bad, and I don't like to look bad, but they just don't tell you <laughs> solid release dates ever. But they say the 25th is around about when it should get a wave two. Uh, hopefully we'll have more. We got 48 the first wave, it lasted the day. Uh, mm -hmm. Didn't even last the day. And so hopefully we get close to that the second time. But yeah. Uh, hey Will, talk about Pro Tour today. And can we get it on TV? Hey, uh, the Pro Tour for Amonkhet is starting today. Today's Friday. Today. Today is Friday. Uh, Friday. And it'll be going through Sunday. So it'll be our first chance to see how the standard metagame has evolved since Amonkhet came out. 
Uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, a bunch of the Legacy players were in last night telling me about like their weird standard decks. And you know that standard's in a pretty good place when Legacy players are excited about it. Because they don't get excited for anything. No, they hate Love everything. Love Legacy guys, but it's man, amazing. I gotta go to the doctor after coming here on Thursday because there's just so much salt. No! <laughs> Dangerous oh. amounts of salt. It's like, so. it's like I've been swimming in the Dead Sea. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... Because it's salty. I know. They know. The camera now knows. Everyone knows. It's the salt mine. It's the go. You okay, John? I'm fine. No, okay, I'm crazy. Cool. So, uh, lots of cool, weird new things. Uh, they banned Copycat, probably for the best, so we don't have to worry about that. But now uh, I was hearing about a new combo deck that uses... Are you guys familiar with uh, the, the new new perspective? Which is like... You play Magic, right? Yeah. You remember the six mana enchantment that's like, when there's a battlefield, you draw three cards, and you can cycle for free if you have seven or more cards in that hand? That sounds exciting. I do not remember that card. When was it printed? I'm okay. I don't get Magic that's myself. Now? So yeah. Yes. That, that so was the one like, said I haven't looked at it, any of the spoilers. And it, it, like, release. on paper, it looks kind of poopy, but yeah. like, it's really cool, because you get the six mana, you play it, and then you just... All of your cards are cycling. He's like, cycle, 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 cycle. Mm. And there's a card called Shadow for the Grave, which is one in a black instant. And then you play it, and you return all cards that you discarded this turn to your hand. Oh. And then you do it again. Mm. And you just vomit your entire deck into your graveyard. And you're just like drawing all these cards and cycling stuff. Didn't and they do that in like Innistrad and stuff? With design? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> but there's this one card that so when, last you, time I played. when you cycle it, you can untap target permanent. <laughs> So you cycle all those, bring, bring them back, cycle them again. Eventually you get eight mana, and then you cast Approach of the Sec Approach of the Sun, Second Sun, which is a seven mana enchantment that says you gain seven life. If you cast this spell twice this game, you win the game. Oh, what? Yes. Well, well, after you cast it, you tuck it in your library seventh from the top. So you have to wait at least that many more turns. Seventh from the top. But then Se you're like cycle, cycle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But uh, if you're able to cycle a card and pull that exactly. Under your head. So if you get to six exactly. mana. With if you if you're able to get to six mana and play this thing, you can basically win the game on the spot. Because we, we haven't had an actual combo deck in standard since three months ago when they banned the last one, but a while before that. I'd want to. I'd I'd like to get back and play some magic. Maybe I'll draft. Maybe I'll draft on Mondays. Drafting is where it's fun because you don't. Maybe I'll find seven friends like and draft on Mondays. Yeah. Uh, David, you have at least seven God, friends. Right, right now, at least I have uh, six fifteen on my feed right now. Me too. Uh, How many of those are willing to come down and one, draft? On one is Monday. probably me. Uh, <laughs> or your How many? numerous accounts? Because all, all I do currently in Magic is I just go into Atlanta Magic and just, you know, troll people. <laughs> Which is totally not a conflict of interest for me as an admin of that group. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. They're so... Oh God, the people who are so into that group are just... Will's a beekeeper so dealing with a wasp nest. The admins <laughs> are the worst. That's true. <laughs> But yeah, that's cool. That's, I'm glad it's standard, because uh, for I'm a while there was, there was kind of like a, a, a lull in standard, I believe. So, so yeah, like the last two years have been kind of an experiment in like the state of removal and whatnot. They were like, hey, let's ease back on the removal. So like they would print things that are more expensive than normal, but they did extra things, or cheaper than normal, but they were more niche. Yeah. And like, it was a it was a neat idea, but it kind of resulted in like, the removal wasn't good enough to handle the variety of threats, so people would just like play a deck that's nothing but threats. I'll go back to play the game when they bring back swords. Mm. Like swords to flashers? Like, like swords, swords of fire and ice. Oh, those or things or are broken as heck. They're no, not I those. And they have that's what, what, what modern. Was name, what was the name of the was it the artificer? What was the core thing that like that you equipped for free? Oh, <sighs> that was the that was the last deck I really enjoyed. Because it was equipping stuff for free. I think that was original Zendikar. That was like seven was years that, ago. No, there was pure one where you could have, There was pure steel paladin. There was swords. It was Aldra Mirrodin, and there was. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, she got banned really quickly. Uh, what's the Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah. Stoneforge Mystic, that yes. was it. So, David, oh, you'd be glad to know favorite card. that well, Stoneforge Mystic is banned in Modern, but all the swords you talked about, all the equipment you talked about, those see significant play in Modern, Tuesday nights at 7.30, and Legacy, <laughs> Thursday nights at 7.30. There you go. You that it's like 7.30 so, if you, if you want to do awful things to your fellow man with equipment... So, are you, you're, are you saying that any event that we have from for card games starts at 7.30? You could say it starts except, at except on weekends, but yes. <laughs> and drafts when you. Is that true? Doesn't Commander start at seven thirty on Saturday? Oh, I was thinking of like, like game days and stuff, but yes, all of our weekly events start at seven thirty p.m. so that you never have to memorize when they happen. Yeah, because it's seven thirty. Seven thirty. Unless you have amnesia. Are we archiving these? Yes, Eric. They're posted on YouTube. 
uh, Gigabytes TV. Yeah, mm -hmm. just YouTube Gigabytes TV. You get all Why would you want to watch anything else? You get yeah. all our promos, you get our adverts, you know. You get a delicious video of Marek teaching people how to play Santorini. Yeah. Santorini. Santorini. Eric Santorini. asks, what's the time? 7.30? <laughs> you know, he Trolling makes a joke. Right? He makes a joke, but we could say 7.30 20 times and then get a phone call asking when things are starting. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, yeah it happens. happens so often. Yeah. So often. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, all right. so what else we got? So people are asking about games that are not 40k and Age of Sigmar that we were into. So definitely we want to, we have so many games here between Malifaux, Guild Ball, Drop Fleet, and Tarries. My personal favorite, I'm going to keep pushing it, is Warzone. I really want Warzone to be big. Mm -hmm. Man, I love that game. I'm trying. Model, yeah, you love it too, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, models are great. They're 32 mil resin yeah. models are a little taller than other, than other games. They've David, as someone game. who's never played that, no, why hey, should I be interested in Warzone? Shane just asked, right? You miniature games growing the area. So Warzone is a D20 system game. Uh-huh. Uh, and basically skirmish level, so you have 12 to 15 models. Uh, pretty dense terrain, and it's all about your activations. So everyone has two or three activations. You, you move alternating. And it's a pretty brutal game. Like, it's... If you get hit, you're probably going to die. So it's super fast, super quick. There is a little bit of bookkeeping in it because so many things have abilities and so many things interact. But it's a pretty cool world, uh, set in the Munich Chronicles world. Ooh. So there was there's some there's been novels, there's been you know, that role plays, there's been a terrible movie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, it's pretty cool. Like in the far future, or near future, Crops. I guess. Our Earth supplies and resources are gone, yeah, so they. Cool Basically, people form into corporations, uh, and each corporation ventures out into space and takes over a planet. So, capital, I think, is based on Mars. Mars. They also have the moon. Uh, right? The Imperial is on. God, I can't remember what Imperial is on. Mercury, right? I think it's Mercury. Uh, but yeah, they're on different ones anyway, and they all have their own. So, you see, the Imperials look very British. World Venus? War I. They're Venus. Venus. Yeah, they are Venus. And yes. then uh, the. Mishima. Mishima are, you know, Japanese honor based. So, they so don't have Earth, or is Earth ruined? No, Earth. Earth well, is so. Earth uh -huh. is Earth is the basis for Mutant Chronicles like role playing stuff I believe. Like mm -hmm. that's kind of because it's a, it's a blast of waste. There's no resources, so there's stuff there. There's just yeah, they've, they've kind of abandoned it. Yeah. So these guys venture out into space and they start, you know, colonizing all your planets, mining from resources, fighting little shadow wars because it's just corporations, no open war. Yeah. And then the Imperials discover a planet past Neptune. Uh, versus Pluto. Well, this is the last planet. Uh, I can never remember. No, it's past. Uh, well, Pluto's not a planet. It was, I think it is Saturn. a planet again. Yeah, it's classified as a dwarf planet. Anyway, they've... It, Nero is with the name. Nero is the... Yeah, they so discovered this planet Nero, and it has a, a um, an ancient... Uh, uh, Seal? Yeah, mm -hmm. like an ancient uh, ruined in it. And of course, being, being the super intelligent people in the period, they open it, and they release the Dark Symmetry. Uh, dark Symmetry is this basically otherworldly power that actually infects all their, their technology and corrupts it, turns it against them. So to fight that... And it also raises the dead, because that's what corrupt technology does, is raise yep. the dead. And Neat. And forms, Humans are technology. Yeah, and it forms the Dark Legion, which is their masses of infantry. So the Dark Legion are like undead demons. and But well, basically what happens is, because it takes over their, their uh, technology, they can't have anything high-tech anymore. So everything has gone to this grungy, kind of crappy analog world. World War one -ish World War one esque yeah. So everything, you know, rather than having computer screens, they've got like, you know, daddy sticks and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, that's adorable. So it's really cool. Like, it's a cool world. And... You know, there's one just after a few years, Cybertronic Corporation appears, and they're really hate because they're using technology, but somehow not getting uh, corrupted. And uh, yeah, and there's a bunch of there's like eight factions, I think. Yeah, yeah, because the Brotherhood, About brother, the, the Brotherhood are formed just to fight Brotherhood, which is what John plays, fight the Dark Legion personally, and then they try to band the other corporation together to fight the Dark Legion because they're the really bad guys, but they still fight each other too. So. Neat. Yeah, so it's a cool game. Yeah, we have it in the store. We play it. I always want to get more. There's a good group that plays. Saturdays? Pretty consistent, usually on Saturdays. Yeah, pretty consistent Saturdays. Usually, like right now, it's about four to six. I think regularly that come up today. We want to get more. Uh, yeah. the models are gorgeous, and they're all you know nice big resin models, great detail. You know, it's actually not a bad price. It's a starter box, like what fifty dollars? Yeah, you can get a fully functioning army for under a hundred. Yeah. So I mean, like so, yes, yeah, Shane. A tournament army try out probably. Warzone because it's amazing. Actually, speaking of tournament army, it's pretty cool. Looking. Protos just sent me. Uh, prize, prize support for an event, so we're probably going to set up an event soon. Um, it was super cool. Like, 
It's a Cybertronic dude just basically standing down shooting a dude. I hate Cybertronic. And <laughs> there's, there's some hero who just has a guitar. Like He's already riffing on a guitar. That's the model. Uh, that's hey. Sean Gallagher. <laughs> Was he a member of Oasis? If it's Gallagher, <laughs> shouldn't he have a, a mallet and a sledgehammer? Uh, and Oasis has a big-ass sword, I think. Yeah. Yeah, cool model. But, but yeah, yeah, so that that would be my pick for a game that's not the mainstream, but is super cool. We also have a solid Mercs. Yeah, solid Mercs group, but uh, they're they're pretty cool. Mark, what are you, what are you delving in that's not Age of Sigmar right now? Uh, so really, it's still it's still gonna be Destiny. I'm trying to make a Jin Akbar deck. So it's not really that's kind of mainstream, isn't it? It's, it's not mainstream. Well, it's not mainstream. Not so mainstream. Can get it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> it's good if you get it. You can be cool Swish. like me and get a game no one can touch. Yeah. Yeah. No, um. <laughs> So, uh, so I, I mean, all right. I am looking at uh, the Guild Ball Farmers are going to be. Mm, oh, they look yeah, so cool. Yeah, Guild Ball. Uh, they definitely, I, I do like the, the the theme of they put out the uh, harvest tokens and then each each model can interact with the harvest tokens. Yeah, Guild Ball is starting to get get to pick up again. It was kind of quiet there for a while, but yeah. Season 3 just came out. And then there's uh, Tater. And the Taters. Tater. And, uh, and, uh, is it New Hunters? New Hunter Box game? Uh, yeah, they have the, basically the original Hunters that came out were the Worshippers of the Sun, and now they have the uh, the opposite, the ones that worship the moon. Um, you know, technically they're still worshiping the sun. Oh, yeah. Just yeah, the dark yeah. side of the sun. <laughs> Light reflected off the... <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, uh, we have the for that coming up, too, in August. So that's actually coming up pretty quick. Uh, the Guild Ball Regional event. Uh, August 12th? Either August 12th or 20th, I'll have to check. But it's on our website, and it's on the Facebook page, so check that out. And you can start signing up for that. Uh, yeah, but Guild Ball. Guild Ball's cool. Steam Forge is a great company. Someday I'll get my Dark Souls. Nah. Yeah. We have a... For all of you who keep calling me, asking me, I don't have Dark Souls yet. It's not here yet. Yeah. I will, hopefully. I've seen people play. When you open the box, it has the you yeah, died. We, we had... <laughs> <laughs> when you open the box. We had... We had... We had, we had oh, Jeremy wants to know who else is about worshiping the moon. The Hunters in Guild Ball, Jeremy. They worship the moon. Uh... Yeah, no, we had people in with Dark Souls last night, kickstarting it, and I immediately got a message from a, from a guy who had backed it to us. It's like, hey, you got it? I'm like, no, I don't, I don't have it yet. Oh, no. no, but soon, soon we'll have it. Yeah. Well, but you will. I know you're messing with different stuff. You, oh, all of this. Did you easing into Malifaux? Yes, uh, I was able to get a box set of uh, Marcus. Marcus's box set. He's mm. a. Um, Arcanists. God, right? you guys are all into wolves and stuff. Really. You're, into, you're, you're into beasts because he's playing like, you know, hunters and circle and you're getting Marcus. Mine was a gift. Oh, so, I, I but no, it, 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 I'm, I'm happy for, because that is the faction I was oh. looking at anyway because like, I, I like their aesthetic. I mm. like the uh, the Rasputina box that I like school, so I might get that as like my alternate. So like their faction is all about using magic to good effect. Yeah. And his shtick is he can take uh, any beast from any faction and use it as though it was in faction. And it, all of them have like weird beast tribal nonsense. Like, hey, beasts get to do this extra thing. Hey, I can bop this guy in the head and now he's a beast. Oh my god, he's a beast. I can do stuff to him. Yeah, the Mal Malifaux is really cool. I, so I, I've, uh, Malifaux was the, fun fact, third game we ever carried in the store. Hmm. Fun fact, Infinity was actually the second game we ever carried. Yeah, you'd be surprised. So it was Games Workshop, then we started carrying Infinity. We've had Infinity in the store for nine and a half years, and then Malifaux. And we've carried Malifaux ever since, for like the very beginning of first edition. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I mean, it's been great. Uh, being from weird being up in Kennesaw, they're, they're a pretty cool company, so. They play every, what, Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. Wednesday is when they play. Yeah, Malfo meets Wednesdays 7.30. <laughs> and, the, and the system uses cards, right? Yeah, so yeah. It's a card-based system, which is kind of cool and different. Well, I think they meet up at, like, from 5 yeah. onwards on, on Wednesdays. My dice rolls are crap. I thought Malfo would help me with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, your, no, your card and my off. dice yeah. still roll like crap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Malfo is cool because it's a card-based system rather than dice, so you actually have a deck of cards and a hand, and you can... Basically, when you do an action, you, you play a card off the top of the deck, and that's your score. Your opponent plays one, you have to see if you beat him or not. Yeah. And then you can cheat from your hand to change it. So if you draw a two and your opponent draws a five, and you have an eight in your hand, you can cheat it. And then they can choose to cheat or not cheat and see who wins. And depending how much you beat them by, modifies the effect of yeah. the damage. And it's actually really super easy to like learn the rules for Malifaux. It's very straightforward. Yeah, very straightforward. Again, it's one of those games, and just like Age of Sigmar... Yeah, where the base rules are simple and the complexity comes from the combinations. Yeah, so. two things I really like about it is like the alternating activations. I feel like it plays towards my sort of play style of 
living in the moment because I am crap at like planning out my whole turn. So what Bill I Banks, to, living in the moment, everybody. Yeah, every moment. So like, well, I I move one guy and then they move one guy. So it it it, it lends itself more to how I play games. Yeah, yeah a lot of the games are going to all a lot of improvising. It's, it's getting big. I mean, and, even Games uh, Workshop a little bit is tuned up because of the way combat works and it will work in new 40k is alternate combats. But yeah. I adore it. I also yeah. really like how it's not just like. Murder ball, where you're just getting it. You're just like getting to a big death ball in the middle of the field and just killing each other. So well, yeah, Malifaux, you, you can, objectives. but there's a lot of uh, like uh, yeah. Well, there's schemes, scenarios, scenarios you can go or just schemes. I think yeah. you usually have what two, one major, two minor, right? Isn't that how it works? Yeah. Someone can tell there's, me if they want yeah. to post uh, testers. Oh well, yeah, you can you can lose your entire army and still win on points. Yeah, no, that's no. cool. Yeah. yeah, no, that's cool. As long as you achieve the objective, you can, you can get out of there <laughs> and get going. But yeah, no, so that's, that would be the three picks for today for new. So I got Warzone, you got Guild Ball, and you got Malifaux. You can play any of those. And so, so Warzone Saturdays, Guild Ball Thursdays, Thursdays still as well. and Wednesdays for Malifaux. So Most of people playing uh, so yesterday. All, and, uh, yeah, Wednesday. people play every day. I mean, yeah. we have groups on our Facebook page. Like, we have we have a Guild Ball group, we have a Malifaux group, we have a Warzone group. You can go in there and just say, hey, I want to play or learn and get connected because yeah I demo a lot as well so yeah yeah John John I'll be here tomorrow the, night the delicious John and Caspian JC Jiminy Cricket himself uh, we'll do demos I'll be <laughs> tomorrow from 4 till 10 I'll be here nice so I have two armies you can demo you know what yeah neat yeah just post Gig White's all about community so you know they you can ask and see what games are being played but get involved and that's how you grow the game I mean you, you yeah. want to the community grows the more people get involved a lot of people you know understandably you can be nervous if you just moved to Atlanta or you're, you're just never been to the store before uh, it's definitely an awesome place to just meet people and play so and we'll even live stream you an event of yours if you want um, we can yeah. totally do that we can totally do that we want right, to where, we, where are we going from here hmm. we kind of we rambled a little bit oh yeah I see the thing shifting now yeah. I think it's because I keep moving, actually. It's trying to focus on someone's face, and uh, the moment they turn, it finds a new face. And so uh, it's just it's trying to search constantly, which unfortunately is... I can't change it in here because it doesn't let me. So hmm. not many questions. Hey, Link misses me. Oh, thanks, Brian. It's just so hard to get up at 7 a.m. and drive for half an hour to go work out in the morning. It's been really hard. I'm yeah. a trainer. I haven't, yeah. been I haven't been there in two weeks. I don't there he anymore. knows I've been bad. Oh, Terrible. I've been bad. Oh, yeah. Gotta go back. I've been really lazy. Mm. Terrible. You know, at the, at the start of, I think it was March, I was like, this is it. Oh, no, but I remember, like, this is it. This is where I start working out five days a week. It lasted like a week. No. <laughs> you ramp it up, you know? You got to ramp it up. Yeah, uh, I'm ramping down right now. Oh, no. Oh, David. Ramp it back, ramp it back. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> 12 was my right now. <laughs> 12 what? 12 days in a row. <laughs> I thought you had 12 minutes. Yeah, 12, 12 minutes was 12, my record. 12 reps. Oh, I'm done. That's it. Yeah. yeah. 12 seconds of reps. So, yeah. That's really rich. I mean, we don't really have. Really it's kind of a quiet one today. It's been quite a week. Heading to see my expo tomorrow. Uh, to say hello to all them and, and get involved in some stuff. That should be cool. Check out some new cool or not games that they have coming up. I like uh, looters. That's a good game you guys did. It's so much looters? fun. Yeah. yeah. It's a little just the, the card game. That potion explosion was supposed to be your big one right now. The what? Uh, potion explosion. I'm not familiar with that one. Mm. I'll have to check it out. Try it. At the Seamon expo. All right. Yeah. Are so you going? No. Are you going? Are you going? I keep looking. I'm actually asking my phone. Are you going phone? Are you going? <laughs> but, I got Mother's Day uh, stuff yeah, on Monday. Hopefully we'll see you there. Good job tomorrow, Saturday. Well, yeah, but, uh, probably going yeah. Saturday. So that's pretty much it. Any other events going on, guys? That we need to talk about yeah. in the next few weeks? I know there's a Milefo event tomorrow, uh, so that'll be pretty cool. Uh, starts at 10 a.m. Sweet. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this week, I think. Oh, yeah, Arma yeah Armada uh, Store Championships are next weekend, starting at 9 a.m. Uh, that's the next Saturday, and there's, I want to say 12 people signed up so far, we expect about 20, so that should be a pretty awesome event. You win a store championship, you get a, you get a first round buy at regionals, Ooh. so that should be cool. Wow. And we have a lot, all our, all our, our, our um, oh, what's the word, our registrations are open for our store championships, so we have store re registrations open for Star Wars, X-Wing, um, name other games that we play, <laughs> <laughs> Destiny Store Championships. And it's all on our Facebook page, and then uh, regionals for Netrunner. Mm -hmm. We're actually doing a two-day regionals uh, for Netrunner, so yeah, it's yeah. a limited event. You you I'll play you, you play round ones on Monday or on Saturday, and on round two you either you either make the cut. If you don't make the cut, there's a limited side event 
for everybody, and that's uh, July 15th, 16th? 15th, 16th? Yeah, it's my, Imperial that's my birthday weekend. Yeah, huh? Imperial Soul, anything going on tournament -wise? Store championships as well. We yeah. have store championships there too. Yeah. Okay. So, and that's, yeah, that's mostly the events. Again, all on our Facebook, all on our website, I think now, mm -hmm. right? Along with our new Giga Swag. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Want, yeah. Actually, if you want to grab that that shirt right there so we can show it off to people, it's right on top of my, my printer. How often are we going to do a new shirt? Uh, we're going to try to do one a month, so we're currently working on one. Which, do we want to tell people like what it is, or we want to hook up? No, we're going to keep it a secret. Uh, yeah. Ooh. So, this is our new shirt. This is the first yeah. design. This is just the, the, the standard uh, Looks gigabytes. Looks and stylish. Well, so you're all welcome, because I picked the design for this shirt. Or I picked the shirt type. And as as so everybody knows, cool. I like being comfortable. So these are super soft, super comfy shirts. Uh, it's yeah. like silk. So you can already use and get they the come in all kinds of different colors. Yeah, there's the like I think the shirts have like eight different there's, colors. There's white, pink, like yellow. There's a yeah, there's a green, there's a navy, there's black. I like the white. I don't think there is no black. I'm afraid because uh, I don't think it prints. Oh yeah, yeah. Was, was the issue. Oh really? There's all these. Uh, uh, Jeremy asked if we uh, if the Rolling Bones is coming back. Yeah, we still gotta work on it. Uh, we we got good feedback on doing that, so we're just working towards. Uh, rolling so Rolling Bones is a thing where. Uh, community right so it requires a community to get involved Rolling Bones was great when we had it like seven years ago the community kind of died off a little bit and started doing their own thing so if we bring it back it would really have to be community focused but uh, yeah Rolling Bones should come back well it would be for any players who like different types of games rather than person who's just into like if you're just into 40k it wouldn't be your type of thing right like yeah well, you know, too, so 40k like we really want to promote the community because Oh, yeah. 40k grows itself, right? So 40k is its own thing. At this point, Age of Sigma is its own thing. Their community is so strong. Uh, so we want to be heavily get organized that we can promote other events. Even War Machine. Promote War Machine, promote Warzone, you know, uh, Drop Fees, Antares. Both Action. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Oh, Both Action. Both Action has a new book coming out next week. Before I forget, because I just remembered. Uh, Operation Sea Line is uh, the German invasion of England. Mm. So I guess it's a what if. Operation Sea Lion had actually happened. Uh, we Operation. have ten, co yeah, we have ten copies of the book coming in. Well, so it's where they plan to invade from the yeah. south and invade from Norway. Oh. So if you ever follow your history, the, we the, have Europe, the reason well. they invade Norway was to have a staging point to go into the north of England. Call it Operation uh, Land Sea Lion. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Uh, but yeah, so we have ten books coming in. The first ten books that we have next week have a limited edition Winston Churchill model. Oh yeah, Which looks so cool Tommy because he's walking with a Tommy gun. Yeah. So he's got his bowler hat and a Tommy gun. This is a thing I didn't know I needed in my life. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. super cool looking. Uh, oh, so that's coming out next week. Cool, uh, Winston. And there all there's a bunch of early war British. Uh, I think early war Germans and something else. Maybe it's Norwegian. So it might might not be Norwegian. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. But yeah, Rolling Bones will come back. Uh, hmm. We'll work on that probably in early June. Uh, once we get to the new space and get everything situated. But check out gigaswag.com, giga-swag.com. Uh, get yourself a new hoodie, new, hood, new sweatshirt, new t-shirt, new messenger bags. Yeah, hot pink messenger bag. Oh, yeah. I'm going to order myself that. It's cool Do it. looking. <laughs> hot pink. And free delivery to the store. So we actually have it where you can get your, your, your clothes delivered right here at the store. Yeah. You can just pick it up and not pay shipping. You never have to go shopping for clothes again. Yeah. No, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, never. Maybe, maybe your underwear. We will make that. Oh man, gigabyte sweatpants. Oh yeah. That'd be cool. Like, like just 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 have like I rolled a D six on your the booty. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> or natural this twenty is to be on a your family butt. show, David. Yeah. It's, it's totally not a family show. <laughs> no, there's no scripting. But but this 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 is like the real housewives of it. Of, of Atlanta. Gigabytes. I think you can find it. You could say I auto hit that. No. Oh, oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah. crit, crit, critical hit. Yeah. I think David's just trying to turn gigabytes into one-stop shopping, where you can get your groceries, you can get your clothes. You can... I mean, I'm up for that. I mean, why would you need to go anywhere else? Why? There's no reason to go to any other place with gigabytes. There is only Giga. Yeah. You know, the Stockholm is strong. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those mega corporations in what fifty years? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Warzone. Yeah. yeah. No, I just yeah. like Warzone. Yeah, it's just like Warzone. 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 Just like Warzone
<laughs> but yeah, so Giga Blog coming up. We got the Giga Size, we got YouTube Size, we got Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, basically, Twitter is just me sending messages to Ric Flair. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and usually tagging people. So. But and then y'all uh, comment or send us messages yeah, on what yeah. you'd like us to uh, do live streams on because this is not the only thing that we're looking to do. We're looking to do live streaming of demos of games for yeah. people who haven't seen what Age of Sigmar is like, what Shit. 40k is going to be like. We might try to do a little thing, a live stream of what the new 40k rules are before they officially get released. Right? Well, it's yeah, going to be kind of hard. us kind of figuring out from what, we'll what's been released. We'll definitely so far. do like a, on the release weekend for 40k. Uh, we'll definitely do. Uh, a live stream, hey, let's fumble around the rules. Because uh, we'll have an event, we'll have a release event where we just come up and play, and, yeah. and that should be good. As yeah. far as the shade dipping, don't we already have that? With shade dipping pots, yeah, yeah, but I think he wants to know if they're a yes or a no. Uh, Jeremy, the question is, do you have a hundred rats to paint? Because then yes. Because mm -hmm. uh, shade dipping, if you have army painter shade pots, is literally you base paint, paint your models, so you paint the, paint the solid block colors, dip it into the shade and spin it around really fast. Yep. And Some people yeah, have actually it's... attached it to power drills. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, do that's shake pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, one? yeah, that's the one. The quick shade. It's quick shade. And then it just it, it highlights, or I guess it lights. I don't know. But it, it shades your models for you. Yeah. It, it look good. So, yeah, if you've got a million models, I wouldn't do it on like a centerpiece model. So if you're going to paint uh, a big monster or a vehicle yeah, or a monster. Uh, hordes of, but uh, hordes, hordes of stuff? Yeah. Do it in hordes, for sure. Right. And you're gonna need you're gonna need hordes in new 40k. Stuff's gonna die so fast. Eight shot Spartan, Spartan. Yeah. yeah. God, dude. it's gonna be so fantastic. I love it. So excited for new 40k. So excited. So now nah, I'm gonna sit down and start building my Shadow War stuff. Mm. Very nice. Crab, crab knobs. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we ain't got much else. Uh, so thanks for watching. Yep. Uh, we post this up and I like to view afterwards because I'm egotistical. So if you have any more questions after the show, just post them up and we'll try to get to them next week. Yep. Bye-bye.